How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club. And today, we're taking a look at the native Steam Controller support in Slime Rancher. So as I always like to do when we're taking a look at the native Steam Controller support in a game, first of all, I want to open up the default configuration and take a look at what we see here. Uh, we've got we've got a very good sign to start off with. We've got separate menu and game controls right here. So that's definitely something that, that I absolutely like to see. Let's look at the menu controls first and see what actions we have here. Looks like everything here is fairly straightforward. I'm not sure what Alt Submit is if, and how it differs from just the regular Submit. Does that mean that the X button is going to be doing the, the same thing as the A button when I'm in menus? I am not sure, but everything else here is, is fairly straightforward and I definitely appreciate that. So let's take a look at the game controls now. And it looks like we've got a D-pad kind of thing going. It looks like they, they probably designed this for uh, with a regular gamepad in mind rather than the Steam Controller itself. But it, it's, it's still usable, just uh, that's not normally um, what I like to see in this kind of situation. Although the look command right here, I am seeing mouse-like uh, mouse-like movements in here so that's definitely a, a good sign and should make th things fairly easy to communicate in game but let's go ahead and open it up and take a look so here we are in game going to wander around a little bit here just so that we can get a look at exactly what's going on here uh, the controls are kind of straightforward, but I don't know if you can see this. It looks like by default they do have inverted controls, which with a mouse actually feels kind of weird. So you may get more out of the out of the controls with a say a DualShock 4 or an Xbox controller than than you would with the default configuration with the Steam controller. So that's something that I would definitely want to change here. Don't see a whole lot of glyphs yet, but if you go up to, to one of these, you can see, oh hey, it says that if I press the X button, that it's going to activate that. And on top of that, you can see that the, the buttons do update in game. So the next thing that I want to check is that the actual buttons will reflect changes. So I'm going to open up a configuration that I've created before. This is Leo's config right here. I think this is the most recent one. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, now it is reflecting the button changes. It's showing the RB right there. It also seems to be having a little bit of a, a, a glyph weirdness when I go over it. It's starting with the regular X button and then switching to RB. But it's, despite looking a little weird, it's still nice. And y you can see, because it's the Steam controller, the, it was very easy to fix the inverted controls here. So now I have everything working and uh, I've got the gyro going too, since this is a gun kind of game. And you can see that everything actually is really easy to to pull up here. And I've also got it set so that when I'm in the in the menus I can use the mouse and while the the Steam controller actually does cooperate with that. It looks like it was actually not pulling up the commands that I would think because I would think that at that point I should be looking at the at the menus and trying to tab left and tab right and pushing 
the right button seems to be going to the to the other tab. If I press the start button, go to the options here. Yeah, there seems to be an issue with the glyphs show up though. But there definitely seems to be an issue with the the tabs there. However, that is easy to work around with the with the mouse configurations there. So anyway, this game is Slime Rancher. Uh, it's kind of in the same style of genre as, say, Harvest Moon or... Uh, what was that that uh, new one? It's, it's a farming simulator. You go around and you try to collect these things called slimes. And when they eat, they poop out those little things called plorts. And the whole idea is that you can then take those plorts and then go to the market over here and sell them. And it's a it's a very laid back and relaxing kind of game that just that gives you plenty to do but doesn't overwhelm you like if if you get a little bit behind uh, it, it's not really going to punish you for for not feeding the the slimes as well as you could for example and they give you a lot of options for um, for automating the process of keeping this farm. So we got some hens right here. I usually like to keep it to around three, and then store those. But you get, guys get the idea of the Steam Controller support. I absolutely love this game. And even more than that, I love the Steam Controller support that it has. I cannot recommend the Steam Controller support in this game enough. Give it a try, you will be happy you did. But anyway, that's all for me right now, and I'll see you in the next club meeting. This is Leo Damascus, and I'm signing off for now. Take care guys, and I'll see you in the next one.